Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to describe, classify, and compare quadrilaterals based on their sides and angles. You guys have been trying to name the quadrilaterals here a lot lately. Remember I kept telling you, we're not naming the quadrilaterals yet. You're just calling something that has four sides and four angles a quadrilateral. Today, you are learning the names for each quadrilateral. Okay. What is a quadrilateral again? So I think we're four sides and four angles. It's not just something, it's a shape, shape with four sides and four angles. And it okay. has to be squared. Quadrilaterals are named by their sides and angles. Describe the quadrilaterals. They have how many sides, you said? Four. Four sides. And how many angles, you said? Four. Four angles. Okay. So, the first kind of quadrilateral they're going to talk to you about is called a trapezoid. A trapezoid has how many pairs of opposite sides that are parallel? Look at these two. Yes, it has two sides that are parallel. Okay, but it says pair, so we don't want to say two pairs because there's only one. Yeah, the one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Oh, one second. Um, I found out that, um, if you find the sides, you'll find the um, angles. Yeah, it's just the sides and the angles on the screen. Right. Okay, so trapezoids, boys and girls, have a pair of sides that are going to be parallel. Okay, this, um, this one has them going horizontally. This one has them going vertically, because this one does not. It will go into that one eventually. Okay, so... A trapezoid only has one parallel side, I mean one pair of parallel sides, okay? One pair. A rectangle has how many sides that are parallel? How many pairs of sides that are parallel? Two. That is two. It has this one, right? But it also has this one. Right? Okay. So it has two pairs of parallel sides. Um, and then how many sides of equal length? Two. How many pairs of sides of equal length? Two. Two. Two sides of equal length. How many right angles? Four. Yes. Four. Four. There are four right angles. Okay. So these are the rules. For a rectangle, you have to have two parallel pairs of parallel sides. You have to have two sides of equal length, two pairs of sides of equal length, and then you have to have four right angles. Now, here is a trick. Here is something confusing that I tried to tell you guys before. You see this shape? Yeah. What shape is that? Square. square. It's a square. Why is a square under the rectangle slot? Because a square can be a rectangle. Yes. Because a rectangle can be a square. Right. A square can be a rectangle because it has two pairs of parallel sides. Yeah. Here's one pair. Here's the other pair. It has two sides that are of equal length. It actually has four sides, but that's even more, which is even better. Even so it has right at least two sides of equal length, and it also has four right angles. But a rectangle cannot be a square. Right. We'll go discuss that when we get to the square part. Yes, what is your question? I can't remember how many right angles for the rectangle is even at the 2 plus 2 and then 2 plus 3. Well, you can just think about it like this. This is a right angle, this is a right angle, this is a right angle, this is a right angle. Those look like teeth, and with your little piece of paper, you can do it. Yes, with your little piece of paper, you would be able to do it better. Ms. Zachary cannot drop right squares exactly right, so you have to just bear with me. All right, now, here's the square. Okay, the rules for the square. A square has how many sides that are parallel? Two, how many pairs of sides? Two. Two. So you have these two, right? Yeah. And you have these two. I know I'm not drawing very good. So you have two pairs of sides that are parallel. How many?
any sides are equal length? Not anyone oh. has our waist. Four oh. sides of equal length. Right. There are four sides. Now this is why a rectangle cannot be a square. Because it, has because it does not have four sides of equal length, does it? This rectangle has these two are equal, but and these are equal, but this one and this one are not equal, are they? No. That is why a rectangle cannot be a square. A rectangle cannot be a square because a rectangle has only two sides that are the same length, not four sides that are the same length. Okay? Okay. And then you have the last quadrilateral. What is that called? Rhombus. Now look at this rhombus. Look at this. A square is in the rhombus place too. Oh my gosh, a square can be so many things, can't it? Yeah. It could be a rectangle, it could be a rhombus, and then it's just a square. Oh, how many angles? I'm sorry. For your square. Four. Four right angles. I messed that up. I forgot. Okay. Now, yeah, craziness. Square can be so many things. So look, how many pairs of opposite sides are parallel in the rhombus? How many pairs are parallel? Two. Two, because you've got this one and this one, and then if you wanted to look, this one and this one are also parallel, okay? But then you also have this one and this one, and this one and this one. Just because those are curved, or those are like slanted, we'll call them slanted, not curved, because curved means this. But just because they're slanted does not mean they can't that they're not parallel, okay? They can be parallel, though. So. Okay, so how many opposite sides did you tell me are parallel? Two. Two pairs of par opposite sides are parallel. And how many sides are of equal length? Four. 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 Um, well, there is in a square, but there's not in this one because this one is the slanting, yeah. making it they're making it not have. But this actually, if you turn a square to a diamond shape, uh, the diamond shape will have like uh, right angles. No, it won't. Yeah, because no. well, if it's a, if it's a if it's like if you turn the uh, okay, this like depends that. on right. If you just turn it sideways, yes. But if it's a triangle, a, a diamond like this. They're all going to be less than. They're less well, not than. all of them. Now, these so, two are yeah, greater, greater, and these two are less than. Yeah. But if it's an upside down square. If it's a sideways square, yes. There's no such thing as one. Okay. Switch. Share and show already. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. We're going to do share and show together, and then you can do on your own with a partner. Okay. All right. Change of number one, outline each pair of opposite sides that are parallel with a different color. Okay, we need to really think about what does opposite mean. If I'm looking at this side of that shape, what's the opposite side? If that's the top, what's opposite of top? Bottom. Bottom. So here is two sides, top and bottom, that are parallel. Okay, and then it says with a different color, do the other two sides. Well, if this is left, what's the opposite of left? Right. Right. So then you would have your other two opposite sides. Okay, your two colors should have been like that. Now, how many pairs of sides appear to be parallel? How many pairs of sides are there that are parallel? Two. Now look at those parallel sides you colored. Each side, the two green ones, or the two purple ones, or pink ones, whatever you want to call that, they are of what kind of length? The two green ones are the same, same length, or I would call it equal. equal length, or same length. Now what is that quadrilateral? Well, let me go over here. Did it have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel? Yes, we said that. Does it have, uh, I'm looking at the rectangle here. Does it have two pairs of sides that are of equal length? Oops. Yes, we said it has sides of equal length. 
Two sides, though, not all of them are the same. The green ones are equal and the purple ones are equal. The green ones and the purple ones are not equal, all of them. And so, because the green ones and the purple ones are not equal, it cannot be a square and it cannot be a rhombus. Now, because we have two pairs of parallel sides, it cannot be a trapezoid because the trapezoid only has one pair of parallel sides. So, it has to be a rectangle, which has right angles and yes. This has four right angles, so the, the shape is a rectangle. Now, it says, circle all the words that describe these quadrilaterals. Okay, right here, again, basically this shape is the same as the shape above, so we should know that this shape is a rectangle. rectangle. Now, Let's talk about, is it a rhombus? If we go to the previous page, does a rectangle have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel? Yes. Yes, it does. But does it have four sides that are all equal length? No. No. This is not the same length as this side. So it cannot be a rhombus. Now, can it be a square? Does it have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel? Yes. Does it have four sides of equal length? No. No. So it can't be a square either. How about a trapezoid? Does it only have one pair of opposite sides that are parallel? No. No, it had two. These two and these two. So it can't be a trapezoid. So a rectangle is the only answer for that. Okay. Now we have this shape. Is that a rhombus? Let's go to over here. Well, does it have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel? If this is one side and this is the opposite side, is that parallel? Yes. 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 If this is one side and this is the opposite side, are those two parallel? Yes. Yes. So it does have two sides that are parallel. Does it have four sides that are equal length? Are these sides of equal length? Yes. Yes. So it can be a rhombus. Now, a quadrilateral. If you look in the front, a quadrilateral has four sides and four angles. Does this have four sides? One, two, three, four. Yes. Does it have four angles? One, two, three, four. Yes. So, this is a quadrilateral as well. Now, is it a square? A square has four right angles also. Does that shape have four right angles? No. no, it doesn't. It does not have four right angles. So, it's not going to be a square. How about a rectangle? Does it have two pairs of parallel sides? Yes, the one on the other side. But did it have only two pairs of sides that were of equal length? Yeah. Well, it has four, right? Yeah. But does it have a four right angles? Once again, no, that shape does not have four right angles. It only has two answers. Okay? Now, let's look at this one, number six. Is that a rectangle? Well, let's go to rectangle. Two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. Well, I can see these two are parallel. But if I were to do these two opposite sides, eventually I would cross. So no, this is not a rectangle because it does not have two sides that are parallel. Two pairs of sides that are parallel. Okay, is it a rhombus? I'm going to erase this. Is it a rhombus? Well, a rhombus has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. Once again, did we have two sides that were parallel? Yeah. No, no, we only had one pair of sides that are parallel. Not two, so it can't be a rhombus. We'll go to trapezoid. Has one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Does this only have one pair of opposite sides yes. that are parallel? Yes. 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 So it's it can't the exact be a trapezoid. Same shape. What? Hey, it's the exact same shape. Well, it is the exact same shape. Now, a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral just means it has four sides and four angles. Does this have four sides and four angles? Yes. Yes. So it also can be a quadrilateral. Okay, you need to compare 
the front to every single one to get 